Hello, my name is Bridget Garcia, and I will be teaching a lesson on classroom rules to follow and respect geared toward a kindergarten special education classroom. And to start the lesson, here is a video to get the kids really interested and thinking about classroom rules. Greetings, boys and girls. This is Mr. Stanley, your friendly neighborhood manners inspector. Do you remember the five rules of our classroom? why do we have rules? So would anybody like to give me a reason? Why do you think we have rules in general? Keeps us safe. Keeps us safe. Good. Anything else? Um, organization. Perfect. So we can take turns. taking turns, all good examples of why we have rules. Oops, taking turns. Okay. And another reason why we have rules is to be respectful to our classmates, our classroom, and all our belongings. So the definition of a respectful person would be someone who values others, is polite, and is friendly to everyone. Some more examples of being respectful would be they don't take advantage of others, they're nice to all their classmates, they are polite, they listen to the teacher and listen to what your other class classmates have to say, they're friendly and cooperative, respectful people work well with others, and are nice to everyone. So here is a fun word search of words related to being respectful and nice in the classroom. So does anybody see any words in the word search? Oh sure, come up and circle however many you see. There's patience, character, turn taking, respectful, kind. star, the square goes away and it's some do's and don'ts. So for nonviolence, you do resolve disagreements and respond to insults and deal with anger peacefully so we don't hit our classmates or anyone else. Um, being courteous is being polite and nice to everyone. We don't insult our friends or put people down. Tolerating and accepting everyone. You listen to everyone and you're respectful to everyone. And the golden rule, which is to treat others the way you want to be treated, so we don't treat our classmates poorly because we don't want to be treated poorly by our classmates. And here's another brainstorming thing we're going to do. Does anybody have any good classroom rules we would like to follow? Mm, raise your hand. Perfect. Any other ideas? Mm, ask before taking. Yes. Ask to use things 
things in the classroom or other people's belongings. And one more. Take turns? Sure. We'll take turns with our classmates. And the last activity we have is a little game where there are pictures of the kids all doing something and we're going to drag it into a smart choice or a wrong choice. So would someone like to come up and drag them? Or I can just describe the pictures. Sure. Okay. Well, here is a student sitting politely with her hand raised waiting patiently. Do you think that's a smart choice or a wrong choice? Mm, smart choice. That would be a smart choice. And someone walking to the garbage can, placing their garbage in the garbage can neatly. It's definitely a smart choice. And some wrong choices would be standing here yelling. It's definitely a wrong choice. We use our inside voices in the classroom. And running with scissors is definitely a wrong choice. Running with a bag over our head would be a wrong choice. Fighting is a wrong choice. These two are sharing a ball nicely. That would be a smart choice. Running down the hall. Running with glue on their face, I believe. Wrong choice. Uh, blowing their nose into a tissue. That's a smart choice. Sharing and helping each other read. Smart choice. Listening patiently to the teacher is a smart choice. Listening again patiently to the teacher is a smart choice. This kid is pushing and fighting the other kid. Wrong choice. Uh, being real messy, wrong choice. And skateboarding while in school, probably a wrong choice, but outside of school would be a smart choice. And here is the list of correct answers. Thank you.